Hello, hello, my happy crafters. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully you guys are doing awesome and having a fabulous day. And if you're not, I hope that your day gets better and your week gets better and everything gets better for you guys. Um, so you guys, today I'm here to do like a massive, like, this is a collective haul. This is stuff that I've been accumulating for like the past, I'm going to say maybe month and a half, give or take, um, that I haven't really shared. I've just kind of been putting them off to the side. But um, because I'm going to be switching my craft space into an, an actual, creating an actual craft room, if you will, um, for myself as well as Hubby, Sasson's Vintage World, um, we're going to, we're basically packing up a lot of our craft supplies, we're packing up a lot of our things in order to make it easier to kind of, you know, transfer everything out from one space into another space. So the past couple of weeks, this is why you guys haven't really seen us um, very active on, you know, on YouTube or social media, um, you know, and everything else, because we've just been dealing with a lot of different things here, um, just getting things ready. A lot of you guys might not know, but um, my oldest daughter uh, is engaged, and she's going to be um, basically upgrading to a new place. Um, things are moving, you know, quite nicely for her, and with a uh, new space kind of, you know, that has been opened up in the home, I just wanted to kind of do some, you know, some upgrades for the home myself. So I've been kind of doing a little bit of that, you know, upgrading different parts of the room, um, you know, working on the kitchen, just different things here and there. But you guys, um, that's neither here nor there. Uh, so I don't want to take up too much time discussing that because you guys, I have a lot of things so to show So again, you. this is a collective haul. These are things from um, Only One Life's Creation and Amazon and things that I bought from eBay. Um, and just like I said, um, just different things that I purchased, you know, online in the past like month, month and a half. Um, give or take. This, I'm going to be basically, you know, putting these things in boxes. I didn't want to forget who I got what from. So I'm going to try to do this now and share this with you guys now because all this stuff is going to get put away and um, I'm super excited, you guys. So the first thing that I have in my hands here um, is this. I purchased this from eBay um, from the store. It's called Four Creative Seasons on eBay. Okay. And ooh, it's a daisy. Um, I got my address and my stuff there, which a lot of you guys already have my address, but for those of you that don't have it, <laughs> I don't want to just put it on blast there. So it's basically this mold from Stamperia. Let me take this cardboard out so that I can use that um, as a backing. Hopefully that'll help you guys to see a little bit better. Let me just adjust my camera a little bit. Let's see. Sorry, you guys, for the movements. Um, and it does look a little bit crooked, but... Hopefully you guys will see. So this is the Stamperia mold. Um, does it say the line here? It doesn't say which line it's from, but I think it's from their new, um, their new collection. And it's got the beautiful mold of the owl and the light bulbs, you guys. And I love these things. Love it, love it, love it. So that's item number one. Um, item number two. This is old. This is not one. Um, let me see. Okay. So that's item number one. Again, I bought this one um, from eBay. Sorry for the shaking. I bought this one from eBay um, at a fairly, you know, fairly uh, reasonable price. If you guys are interested in finding out the links or anything like that to the store, um, let me know and I'll try to find it and I'll, I'll put it probably in the comments section or something like that if somebody requests it. So make sure that you guys, you know, check out the comments and stuff like that because that's probably where most of the links that I'll put are probably going to be there in case, you know, people ask me for them. So that's the first one. Um, this is from One Life's Create, only One Life Creations, okay? So I want to say thank you so much to them because let me tell you something, this shop is awesome. Um, they ship super fast, like I put my order in and within days, like it was already on the way. And I know that they're probably super, super busy, so I just wanted to give a huge shout out and say thank you so much to them. Prices are phenomenal and um, fast, the shipping is fast, so that's always a plus, you guys. So I'm going to take everything out that I got from there. And this is one of two packages, I believe, or three. I'm not even sure, to be honest with you guys. Um, so let's get into the molds because I'm going to be selling a lot of these in resin form. So I'm trying to get the mold situation, you know, trying to get myself stuck up on things to do with like molds and stuff like that. So I got this one right here, which um, has... 
uh, the telescope and different buckles. It's got different padlocks. Super cool. Love the padlocks. I'm just got this little buckle here. Let me see if I can. Uh, let's see. Maybe that'll be better. Um, got this little buckle here. Like all these different little pieces on it. Like I'm super excited to mold these and play with these. Um, I also got uh, this one right here. This is from the Vagabond, so Vagabond collection. I think the owl is too, I'm not sure, but I think so because it's very steampunkish. Um, and this one's super cool. I got this one mostly thinking about Sasson because you guys know he loves his, you know, vintage people. And this guy right here, like, he's so freaking awesome. I cannot wait to see him use it. I'm so excited to see him use it. Like, you guys, oh my God, I can't, I can't wait. And then we have this really cool, like, steampunk um, locomotive, right? This train. We have some gears. You can never have too many gears. And then we have this super cool um, guy with the glasses. And I love this because it reminds me of my Happy Day Crafts uh, original store logo. Uh, if you guys ever saw that, it was the steampunk girl that I did um, with the gears behind her. I have her somewhere. I don't have her in this room. I think I probably packaged her up already. But this reminds me so much of that because of the glasses and just the style and the aesthetic. I absolutely fell in love with it. And I'm like, I have to have it. So I did go a couple times and it was sold out, but I kept checking and I kept checking and she stocks up, you know, fairly quickly for the most part. So I was able to get it. And if you sign up, then you'll know when things are in stock. So super awesome. Uh, this other mold that I got is by Prima and it's got all these cute little, it's got a butterfly, this cute little rose. Um, it's got this beautiful scissor, which I absolutely adore and uh, more, you know, butterflies and stuff like that so you can never have too much of that stuff right you guys that's that one um this is the other mold that i got from stamperia it's just more pipes and i have one that has pipes but they're a little bit smaller so since again i'm going to be selling a lot of these resins uh, a lot of these as resin pieces for you guys to alter decorate you know use up and stuff like that i wanted to get a nice arrangement so that you guys have small pipes big pipes you know different things uh so that you guys can have a nice mixture um, when I do start creating, you know, the boxes or the packages, or however I'm going to do it, because I'm still working on that. But I'm I'm working on the supplies right now, so getting supplies up and things of that nature. Um, this is another one by Prima. Super excited to play with these. Um, and this one's got the little birds. Love it, love it, you guys. Super cute. Can't wait to use that. Um, and then with this order, I got this stencil by Tim Holtz love the lace and again her prices are awesome so sometimes you just can't pass it up and whenever i'm able to shop at her you know at her store i you know i do <laughs> i do you guys i do whenever i'm able to shop at her store um this is the store right here only one life creations you guys don't sell her out so that i can actually continue to get some more stuff okay um and then i got this one by craft consortium i love their aesthetic i love their style um I love the birds, love the flowers. I love using stuff like this because you can use this over and over again on all types of projects. It doesn't necessarily have to be like nature themed or anything like that. You can use this all the time. And there are other ones that I'm going to be collecting soon because I absolutely love them. This is a, a new uh, brand for me. I just bumped into them not too long ago and I was like super eager to get some of their products. And again, they're called Craft Consortium and super, super cute, you guys. Super cute and phenomenal price, I think. Uh, from where I've seen in other stores. So, let me see. I'm just moving some of this stuff around, you guys, because I do have quite a few, quite a few things to show. Let's see. Okay. Here's the other order that I got um, from Craft Consortium. I mean, not Craft Consortium. Um, One Life's Creation. I did a lot of the shopping. A lot of, a lot of the bulk shopping I did there because she just has a lot of the different things that I like and I was able to um, get a nice a nice nice deal so I'm going to show you guys so let me go through those first and then I'll show you the other things that I have in here so you guys there's a lot of die cuts right it's a lot of die cuts so let me see what I have here. This is kind of pussy here. Now I did buy multiples of these. So this one is this one basically. I did buy multiples of some of them. 
some of them like some of them I did it. Um, so this one is from they're all from Stamperia, but I couldn't pass up on this Yaminas, you guys, because they're super cute. And um, if you've never seen what they look like, I'm not gonna open all the packs, but this one I already opened up because I wanted to see. That's why the top is missing. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. So I'm going to show you what this one kind of looks like. Um, the rest we're just going to see through the packaging. So these are chipboard. Okay. These are chipboard form. They're nice and thick. I love that about them because they're nice and thick. Um, and I can do all types of awesome stuff with them. Look at this cool pen. So hopefully you guys can see that nicely it's got really pretty pieces um kind of like a vintage soft shabby-ish kind of um colors it's got all these little bits and pieces a whole bunch of just awesome yumminess that i cannot wait to play with and incorporate into my art and incorporate into all my stuff um i cannot wait to get started with doing like mixed media lives and all of that stuff we've been kind of um working on a lot of other things behind the scenes. So we really haven't had the chance. Um, so guys, we'll be back. Um, we do miss uh, doing the lives with you guys. Hopefully once we come back, we'll be able to maintain a steady schedule for the lives. But they're coming back, you guys, they're coming back. I'm gonna be doing my independent lives as well as our um, date night lives, which is me and the hubby. So super cute, you guys. All of these yummy little pieces. You get quite a few. And the price is not that bad for what you're getting, right? Because remember, this is chipboard. And I love playing with chipboard, you guys. I'll have more of a formal, um, as far as my shop and everything like that, once I get everything situated, you guys. So I'm looking at maybe the middle of April, give or take. Um, it should be by the time that I have everything like officially done here at home. I got these by Alice in Wonderland, and I'm going to be on the lookout for the other set because there's another style. So I got two of these because you guys know I love Alice in Wonderland, you guys. That is like that is like the basis of my existence to a certain extent when it comes to how I create, right? Because it's very whimsical and all fantasy. We have talking cats, you know, dancing birds. We have all different kinds of stuff. That is like so right up my alley. Um, I love all things that are like fantasy and stuff like that. And who doesn't love the movie Alice in Wonderland, right? Or the book for that matter. So Alice in Wonderland is like my number one, my number two. She's up there. She is up there, my friends. She is up there. So I got two of these because I'm going to be making some really, really cool um, projects that are Alice in Wonderland coming up. And then I got two of these. No, these are different, actually. This one is a sewing one. So it's got like, um, you know, the sewing machine. It's got like all different bits and pieces that have to do with sewing. Like there's a lot of pieces in here. I think there's like almost 45 pieces or so, give or take. Then I got this one. This is the ballerina one. Yeah, this is the ballerina one. You can see her little hands up there. And I absolutely love it, love it, love it. Like I'm loving these chipboards by Stamperia, to be honest with you guys. I'm loving them. As long as I can find them in the price range that I purchased them at, you know, around that ballpark, then I'm going to continue to get them. Now, if they start getting too pricey, then I'm going to have to start going back to making my own. <laughs> so, um, but in, either way, I think they're phenomenal. And um, I bought this really huge uh, kind of like storage unit situation that I'll be unveiling to you guys once. Again, we have the room set up and everything. Super excited to build that stuff. Like... I'm a builder at heart, so I love putting things together and assembling stuff. So I'm really, really excited and super looking forward to like making that whole space, like what I've been envisioning um, and what I've been dreaming about for such a long time. So super excited for that. Let me put these in here. I don't want the bags to break and everything to fall all over the place. So plus, you know, I, I'm doing the the grand ATC exchange, you guys, which hopefully you guys will check it out and join because the, it's still open for sign up right now. And um, I'm going to be able to use a lot of these little pieces on some of those, you know, moving forward. I had told hubby that I was going to wait to do this like a one huge, you know, unveiling 
But I'm like, it's gonna be so much work. And to be honest with you guys, by the time that I put all this stuff in the box and I take everything back out, I'm not even gonna remember where I purchased half of this stuff. And I wanted to make sure that I gave credit to the stores that I purchased these things that, you know, when I still had it fresh in my memory. So let's see. Okay, so we have another mold in here. Look how pretty this mold is, you guys. It's got like all these pretty little flowers. And I cannot wait to see how they come out once I start filling all of this stuff up. Because they're all, you can do them all individually. I cannot wait, you guys. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. All right, the next thing here is this beautiful stencil. You guys know I love me, love me, love me some stencils. This is absolutely gorgeous. You guys can see that in there. I'm going to keep it in here for now because um, I don't want it to get snagged on. Super gorgeous. This will look great on like a beautiful, humongous canvas. So maybe, <laughs> maybe you guys, maybe. I know that I did a lot of purging not so long ago, but I purged things that I was no longer really interested in playing with or using. The things that I'm refilling my spaces up with are things that are now, you know, attractive to me as far as like the things that I want to play with, the things that I want to do. So that's why um, you guys are seeing this <laughs> for the most part. Um, and then I got this. I only got the one sheet because I've never really worked with rice paper before. So I want to make sure that I know what the heck I'm doing before I start um, investing into rice papers and stuff like that. So I just got the one sheet, even though she did have like a whole bunch more. Um, I only got the one for now. But that'll work for a project. We'll see what I do with that. Okay, so let me try to put these things back. Let me pause this for a second. All right, um, so this is another one that I got from Only One Life's Creations, you guys. Like I said, I did. Um, I always go back in and check on her store. And I might I buy, like, little things, you know, like I make small purchases. I always try to keep them budget. Um, but I do go often, so I don't know how, you know, how much that helps with the budget. But <laughs> I do try to keep them budget. So from here, I only got these few things here. Okay. So um, I got this one, which is the companion to the guy. You see here? Yeah. So I'm going to have both of these, again, available in resin form once I have it ready to go and all of that stuff set up, plus all the other molds and stuff like that that I have. So this is so freaking awesome. Look at this bookcase, you guys, and look at this stack. Um, stacked suitcases like what and the flying house or the flying boat house I think this is a boat house like I love this this is like right there with me and fantasy right there right there absolutely love it and then I think she looks super amazing I love her, her whole get up I love um, how the leg is kind of like exposed with the gears and everything like super cool um, I wish that these would say, like, the, the tickets would say what line they're from, but they don't. They just, you know. But that's cool either way. Either way. So, lots of cool stuff. And then I bought this pack of stencils. It's like a smaller stencil. Um, and it's got, like, these really ornate um, designs. My machine, anytime that I try to do, like, really ornate designs like that, which is why I never really had those available for sale. Like, I always had an issue with it. So, you know. I kind of gave up on the, the really like detailed, fine detail stuff until I upgrade into a stronger machine. So I'm waiting to see what comes on the market that is stronger, um, has a lot more pressure than the one that I'm using now. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I also got this distress refresher so that I can refresh all of my um, stamp sets and see which ones need replacements or which ones just need ink or what the case might be. So I'm going to be going through all of that. So I just bought this just to test run all of my inks and see what's what, you know, as far as the Tim Holtz uh, inks, see what I'm going to need. And then I got these mixatives. This is um, alloy and this one is sterling silver and gold. Um, many of you guys might be aware, maybe you, you don't know because you've never really been to my channel before. But I, I dabble with resin and I do not just like resins for like pieces, but like, you know, other resins, clear resins, UV resins, all different types of resins. And I do all different types of projects with them. So I didn't have anything that was like this as far as um, the ink or the resin. So I went ahead and got these so that I can try them out and see how they work for me. We'll see. I'll be sharing that in a video once I you know, start going back to work on those things. Um, 
And I guess I will be able to put this all in one video. It's not that big of a haul, I guess, as I thought it was going to be. But, um, okay. So, now let me move this aside. I'm going to pause the video real quick. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going to pause the video real quick, and I'm going to pull out the other bags. Give me a second. All right, you guys. Um, now we're going into Amazon. Okay. Um, as far as Amazon, I got this. Um, and these are for like um, for tea lights and stuff like that. But I'm also going to be doing other things with them. I think that they will be perfect for like making shakers and stuff like that. So I'm going to try that out and see what happens because they're nice and deep mold. So this is a really pretty butterfly. It's a really nice size as well. And then I got this one. Um, I'm not sure what you, for what you will call this design, but kind of like a mandala type of thing is what it looks like to me. Maybe I'm saying that wrong, but it's a nice, uh, nice size. Again, these are for tea lights, but I have other ideas. Um, I have other ideas for this. Um, we also have this beautiful crown mold. And oh my goodness, you guys, I have like five at least five different projects that i'm going to be incorporating this into moving forward i'm um, in like the next you know again everything that i'm saying as far as crafting stuff that i'm gonna do is gonna be for like the middle of april towards the end of april and moving forward while i get everything um set up i just want to be able to package all the stuff and put it in a box um and stack it with the rest of the stuff so yes you guys so this is super cool i haven't molded any of these yet but oh my god can you see the depth in that like that's gonna be a nice once it's all done cannot wait to play with this um and it's even got a little jewel spot in the center so you could like make a little jewel there super super cool um so that's these let me see okay we have this one right here And this is like for trinket dishes, but I thought this was super adorable. I thought this was super adorable. And it comes with a lid. Can you hear Venus? Does that one come with a lid? Yes. This is the lid for that one. So basically, um, okay. I guess you mold with this one. You mold it that way, and then it kind of sits into place. I mean, it kind of sits into place like so. So this is your lid, and then this is your base. Super, super cute. Um, it came with the hearts. Can I wait to mold these? Super cute as well. Um, and it came with another one of these. Which is going to come in handy really, really soon because, again, you know, I'm going to be building all these different things for, like, my inks and my different stuff. Like, I'm finally going to have a place for everything. And so everything is going to go in its place. That is, like, a dream come true for me. You guys do not understand <laughs> the craziness that I got to go through whenever I look for something or I put something here and it's not there. It's over there. So, like, hopefully I'll be able to put everything in its place and have everything nice and organized. Um, this also came with, it came with some gloves, but the gloves are latex. I can't have latex in my house because my son, um, he can't have latex around him. He's allergic. So I had to throw those out as soon as they got here. So it does come with latex gloves. You also get this comb, which I think it'll be super cool to play with it. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> This is a, a rarity for me because I'm like a comb. I don't know about a comb, but we'll see. We'll see. And then it came with some stir sticks and also um, some more of the little hearts, which is cool because I didn't have the green. I didn't have the yellow and I do have the pink, but I didn't have the green. So super cool. So back in the bag you go. And I can't wait to share with you guys like how I put everything, how I store everything, how I do all of that stuff. A lot of DIYs are going to be coming to the surface as I figure out how to do certain things and put certain things and create custom storage for some of the items that I have. Let me just make sure. 
So that is everything. I think, I think for this batch better because of other stuff I think I showed you guys. Now this wasn't a haul. This is a gift um, from Ada who's MSC Missy Missy 112. I'm sorry. And her name is Ada. <laughs> She's on my channel. You'll see her there. It's MSC ICU. Something like that. Um, <laughs> sorry, Ada. <laughs> I know she's probably going to be laughing when she hears me say that. Now, this one I did try it out to see um, how it was going to come out. But this is super cute. It's got like little crowns. Like little embellishments. So super cute you can add some of these little tiny ones in like larger shakers and stuff like that or even use them to adorn other things um it comes with this really pretty ornate frame and then this little piece in the center which i have no idea what that's supposed to be maybe a harp i'm not sure it comes with some crowns and again i did test run these um to see if i will be able to work with them and the, the molds come out beautifully so i'm super excited to work with them they look a little bit weird which is why i had to test them out because they, they look a little bit compressed with each other. But the detail on the molds come out really, really nice. Um, so I, it came with all of these. And it even has like a little vintage Hardy um, motorcycle in the bottom. Now the Hardy is a little bit tougher. I might have to do that one with like UV resin as opposed to like the regular resin. Um, but yeah. So thank you, Ada. Um, can't wait to start like molding and doing all of the stuff, you guys. Um, so that and I think one more package and that's it, you guys. So we're at 27 minutes. Hopefully you guys don't find this video super, super long. Um, what are you? Okay, here it is. So the last two things that I got from um, that I got from Amazon are these. Um, now this right here, this is glow in the dark pigments so that I can make some glow-in-the-dark sprays and add them to my resins as well um, I got this tape off again I'm all fake there you go I'm gonna repackage them up like that as well um, so you get quite let's see one, two, three, four, five, six so you got 12 bottles um they call it grow powder I'm not sure but super fluorescent that's for sure um i'm trying to see if i can see them glowing in the dark or not i can't tell if they're glowing in the dark or not yet i haven't tested them so i'll have an update for you guys on these powders once i get to actually test them but this pretty full it's supposed to be 20 grams let's see i don't know if it's 20 grams with the bottle or not but i'm pretty sure they weigh with the bottle so it's 25 grams is probably with the bottle you know the extra five grams probably has to do with the bottle so let's see let's see this one 27 so i guess they're not all even 26 okay so they're not all even for the most part 25 okay so between 25 and 27 you guys <laughs> between 25 and 27 let's turn this baby off hopefully i'll be able to calculate shipping and do all of that good stuff once i have everything ready to go um and then the last thing is this one so that i can make my own custom beads now i'm i'm going to be ordering other different ones of this and different styles they have different styles to make your own beads so I'm going to be making my own beads for like a lot of my charms. Now this one doesn't have the hole in it. It doesn't have like that little pokey hole. So you kind of have to put it in. I think this would probably be best for like the end beads. You know like the bead that you want to hang right at the very end. Where you just kind of put the thing on it. Or you can just put the little things on it. You know the little screw. um, The little screw eyelet things. You know the things that have uh, the little eyelet at the end. You guys can see that. So you guys can probably just um screw those on in the ends. And you'll be good to go or once they're setting i can just put the little things on top of them and then they'll be good to go that way as well and then i can just loop them up but this brings i mean it's a really nice lot you know it's pretty long it's got a lot of them two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 
points. And so you get to make 20 beads at once. That's pretty awesome. And I cannot wait to play with this and start making my own custom beads. Because you guys, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be taking place. A lot of stuff, I tell you. My little notebook is getting full. <laughs> full of ideas. Full of things to do. And full of DIYs. And full, 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 you guys. And um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's it for now. Now I get to put these things away. Um, so, hopefully once I have my craft room ready and everything is good to go, I'll be able to share with you guys, um, you know, any anything else that I purchase from here to then. So anything else that I buy after this, it'll probably be safe for, um, for that time, you know, when I do my actual room tour or right before I do my room tour or right after, who knows. I'm going to put these together for now just to be on the safe side. Um... But yes, you guys, that is like, to me, this is massive. I know that for maybe for some, this is not that much. For me, this is massive because I normally don't buy um, a whole bunch of stuff like that, you know. Not at once because I didn't buy it at once. But I, don't, I normally don't buy like that, you know, normally. But I did do a lot of purging and there are a lot of things that I've been wanting to play with that I haven't really had the chance to play with. So I found good deals, you guys. And you know, when you have a good deal, you cannot pass that up because there's no guarantee you're gonna get that good deal twice right so i'm super excited and i'm like over the moon with anticipation for what is coming next so you guys um don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already don't hesitate i do all types of fun stuff here we do all types of different crafts from mixed media to art journaling to scrapbooking to paper crafts to resin like we do a little bit of everything here maybe we don't do it the best but we definitely, you know, try. So, um, for you guys, thank you guys so, so much for stopping by the channel today and checking me out. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know which one of these things you're excited to see. Um, which one of these things maybe you've already purchased because you yourself couldn't resist the urge. Let me know what you guys think about the haul. Super excited um, to share with you guys all the upcoming yumminess that's on the way. Again, I just want to quickly um, just let you guys know we are, you know, really sorry that we haven't really been able to do um, the lives, but it's just been kind of hectic here. Um, everybody's good. So thank, you know, thank God for that. Everybody's good health wise. All of that stuff is good. It's just, we've just been super busy. So many different things are happening and a lot of good things are happening. Um, so we just haven't, you know, we've been limited on time and it's super exhausted. So yes, you guys, I want to thank you all so, so much for the love, the support, um, the companionship that a lot of you guys, um, you know, you're always there for me when I need you. And I, I just want to say thank you so much for that. And I'm so excited, you guys. On to the next one. See you on the next one. Bye.